everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be, well, a video of a part of a collection that I have within my Star Wars collection. And I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge first here that this camera lens has a fish eye to it. So any bending other than the Ahsoka lightsabers, which are naturally curved, any bending of the blade or the lightsaber hilt that you see is going to be uh, due to the curve of the lens. And so people mentioned in the last lightsaber review that I did for my Sabi's workshop that, oh, the lightsaber blades are bent. Well, if they're bent, they won't function. They have to be straight. Um, so I'm just letting you know now. I know it's a little bit odd, the warp, but that's just this camera. So anyways, I figured I would give you guys a glance at basically my Force FX lightsaber slash Disney sabers uh, collection. They're mostly, I mean, they're basically Force FX lightsabers without the title if you will. Um, and so this is them all together. Um, and so, yeah, I just thought I'd show them off first to you guys. Um, we'll, we'll go over, a, do maybe a couple of comparisons and then some closer looks at the hilts and then the colors of the blades and what have you. So I thought that might be a fun video for today. So um, we can start in order in terms of like how old these sabers are and then go from there. Okay, so these three in the center are the oldest ones. These are all 2005 Star Wars Force FX lightsabers from master replicas um, this was one that i got for christmas as a little kid this was the thing that i wanted for christmas that year and it is the mace windu's lightsaber um my dad had picked up the anakin skywalker lightsaber at borders bookstore after we saw revenge of the sith we went to the bookstore and he bought the lightsaber and then um so that one these two are i ha i've had since 2005 this one particularly here this darth vader one i got second hand from a it was like a garage sale consignment like group you know you come in and you pay a fee and you shop a whole bunch of booths one of those and it was brand new um in the box not opened but obviously it had been in the box for quite some time um before i purchased it obviously anyways and so um i've done reviews over some of my lightsabers i've never done a review over this one because it's just the older one and i don't have the box anymore but i've always been a huge fan of mace windu's lightsaber hilt it is my favorite one out of all of the jedi and sith that we see in star wars I absolutely love it, and this is truly such a great lightsaber. I mean, I gave this, this thing went through hell. I used it, I slapped it against other lightsabers as a kid. Um, it's it's scratched up at the bottom, and then the, the lightsaber blade has some, some scratches. Nothing super noticeable. Um, but, yeah, it, it's still, I mean, I give it credit. It's 15 years old, and it still does pretty good. Oops, sorry, I had an avalanche on the side there. Uh, but, yeah, so this is it lit up, and it's the quietest out of all of them, for sure. <laughs> So hopefully you can hear it. And it is so bright in this room that it's mostly white with purple on the edges, but it's a full purple blade. Uh, let's see. The camera, I think, might adjust to it, but... Yeah. You can see where it's a little bit darker, but this blade has held up 15 years with this blade, and it's done pretty good, so pretty proud of that. I'll show them all lit up together at the very end. Um, and then as for my dad's old lightsaber, this one is purely just a prop. It, it does not light up anymore. I think that we did, we broke it somehow. I mean, the, the, the tube, the light tube is still on it and everything, but it just, it doesn't work with batteries anymore. And that's, it's been like that for several years. But the hilt obviously looks like, I say this is Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. This is Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, um, his father's. It's not actually Anakin's from Revenge of the Sith, or episode two, but it doesn't work anymore. But of course I keep it because it's like, I mean, still a great display piece because I don't have these on all the time. And then this Darth Vader lightsaber, which looks really nice. I actually did a video on this and I did a review on how to remove the gunky rubber that was around this one. It hasn't happened. Oh, I did remove it, I think, from this Luke's lightsaber. The Mace Windu doesn't have the problem, but these got really gummy and gunky and I did a review on how to fix it. Uh, but it actually lights up as well. Looks very orange, but it's red. It actually stops lighting up towards the tip, and if you adjust it, you can get it to go, but it doesn't stay. So there's something damaged about it that might have just been... I don't know if it was defective from the beginning, but uh, it's not a huge deal again because I display it off. That is that saber there. Uh, yep, so those are the older ones. And then I have... I did a review over this one. Um, this is the Episode 1 uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi lightsaber that came out for the Black Series Force FX line. And this is just the standard Force FX lightsaber. And I really like the hilt. Very nice. And then it turns on. And it's very, very blue. It's really, really pretty. And it's pretty loud. 
so it looks nice. And then the other Force FX lightsaber that I have, this one is an elite lightsaber. This one is Darth Revan's, um, which is pretty cool. This is my newest one, and if you haven't seen it, I did a video on it, a comprehensive review, because this is, has a lot of cool elements to it that are definitely worth checking out. Uh, but it, as you can tell, sorry, if, as you can tell, it's got two buttons, so one turns it on, and then if you hold both buttons down, oops, if I can, if I can do it properly, it turns purple. So as you know, Darth Revan has a purple and a red lightsaber, so this is a little bit of both. It also has a couple other effects. It's got a wall cutting effect, and then it's got some blaster like your deflecting blaster effects, which are pretty cool, which, again, I've showcased better in my review of this. Uh, but it was really cool that it, it does two colors. Yeah, so pretty nice. And then it comes with a couple extra extra items, I guess, that make it, like, worth the elite price, if you will. And then these three right here are from the Disney parks. This is the Ahsoka lightsaber, Ahsoka from Rebels lightsaber, um what do they call these? The legacy sabers that my husband got, um, which I just changed the batteries in because they were going totally yellow. <laughs> They're white again, but they have nice curved blades and they are obviously different heights and a little bit of different style. I think my husband liked these because they reminded him of like katanas and how you can get them in the set. But anyways, they do turn on. They turn on white like in Rebels very nice sound and then we have my Savi's workshop lightsaber at the end which does remain my favorite lightsaber mostly because it's custom to what I how I wanted it to be and the experience that goes with it just you can't beat it and so I don't think I'll ever find a lightsaber that I like as much as this one even if I go and redo the experience because this is my first time and so, um, and then I obviously have that. So it's, it's still my favorite if anybody's curious. Um, but it turns on as well, a very bright purple. And this one is the loudest saber out of the ones that I have for some reason. I'm not sure, but, um, you can also change the crystal. You can change the crystal inside. And if you're curious on this, um, I did make a full review over my Savi's Workshop lightsaber. So in terms of all the lightsabers, the only ones that have removable blades are the Darth Revan version and then the Disney ones, which is the newer, more high-end version of the retail sabers. Of course, you can buy custom sabers that will do everything you want and are brighter and more durable. And, and you can do that. And, and, you know, one day I hope to be able to do that. Um, but for now, this is what I have. And um, any of the current Black Series Force FX lightsabers, they do not have removable blades because that's part of the, I guess, price you pay the upcharge on the Elite versions. Um, and so you can remove those. Again, I've done videos on all of these that have removable blades. Um, so you can see, and I've done a review on this one and this one. So these are the only two. I won't ever do a review probably on this one because it's... Uh, doesn't work anymore. Um, it doesn't turn on, but uh, perhaps if I get enough requests, I can review the old Mace Windu. It just doesn't hold up today like the old one or like the new ones. So it still worked great. It just, you know, it's just kind of up to you. But anyways, um, I did want to show you guys a little bit of, um, well, the blade links are all different. So just take that into account. But um, there is something to be said for how fast the lightsabers turn on and how accurate they look um, going in and out of the uh, hilt. And so I did want to show that um, just a little bit just to showcase it because they definitely have improved over the years. Okay, so this is probably the best angle that I can get these at, um, but they're all laid out in the same order as you saw previously. But I do want to show you guys, hopefully it will pick up on the camera, how quickly and most, most accurately these blades close, um, open and close or ignite and de-ignite. Um, so starting with the Sabi's Workshop lightsaber and the Ahsoka sabers. And the Darth Revens. And the Obi-Wan. The Darth Vader. And then the poor Mace Windu one is really dull. But in terms of how they light up, the Darth Revan one is far superior. It's the cleanest in terms of looking realistic when it when it ignites and deignites. And I'll demonstrate that as they close again, so. It's just a little bit blocky for some of these sabers, as you can tell. This one's really clean. It's 
So it's really interesting to me the way that that is. So this most recent Darth Revan Elite Saber has the best light up technology in terms of how uh, smoothly the blade um, ignites versus the Disney Sabers. Um, they're a lot more blocky, and I'm not sure if that is the internals or the blades themselves. But anyways, I go into a little bit more detail about them on my individual reviews, so feel free to check those out. But that is my lightsaber collection, uh, my, I guess, collector lightsaber collection, because you have some. Of the, I have some of the plastic ones as well. But um, I guess I can put them in ranking order for you if you would like. Okay, here's all of them ranked. So from my most favorite to my second favorite to third... To fourth. Ahsoka's are only done here because they're really heavy for me. I personally just prefer a single blade instead of two blades, so that's why they're lower. Um, of course, Luke's is going to be at the bottom because it does no longer light up. Um, but basically, these ones here are superb. Um, these ones need a little work because this one is a little bit malfunctioned and then this one doesn't turn on. But anyways, that was my uh, lightsaber collection. I hope that you enjoyed, guys, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, guys. Bye.